Tesla had just unleashed the track mode. Uh, this is for some insane driving. So I'm assuming most of you will not be using it, but I know some of you will have a lot of fun and make a lot of cool videos with it. In the video that uh, Tesla just produced, this is a screenshot I'll show you in a second. So let's talk about what it does and uh, why it's gonna be a lot of fun. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to your number one source of unbiased electric car news. Today is our birthday. We're two years old. We're almost out of diapers, I promise you. But, uh, and I promise I won't sing. Uh, it's It's been a long journey. It's been a fun journey and I really enjoyed it. Thank you to those of you guys who supported me. This has definitely been a lot of fine, of uh, fine and uh, fun. So um, yeah, okay, so back to this uh, track mode, right? Uh, and Tesla announced it on uh, on Twitter. Uh, which is kind of nice, right? I mean, I don't, I don't mind Elon uh, tweeting out a lot of Tesla stuff, but you know, stuff like this, the features, I like when Tesla announced it as announces it as a company. So it's rolling out as an over-the-air update. One of the coolest things about, you know, Tesla and generally electric cars, or you really don't have to be in electric, but it helps. Um, so the Audi e-tron and many other upcoming electric cars will have that. Bolt already has that. So, but nevertheless, this is one of the cool things where your car gets better overnight, literally. You wake up and it has a new feature. Now, what is a track mode? Um, let me explain what it is in a second and let me show you the video that Tesla just came up with. I think it's pretty cool. Shot from the drone. Uh, before that, of course, I want to remind you that this show and this channel is sponsored by Abonex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla, including Model 3. We got a, I got a few interesting... Um, uh, accessories from them. I'm going to have a, my friend install it and we're going to review it for you guys. So stay tuned. Definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel for that. All right. So let me put this video on the loop. Um, it, ooh, what's happening? Uh, oh, yeah. I did not prepare well enough. That's what's happening. Uh, all right. So this is the video. Uh, pretty cool. Um, the, the track mode is obviously for people to drive you know, in a controlled environment on a track. And hopefully when you know what you're doing, uh, I'm assuming this is a professional driver that did this uh, in the professional drone pilot. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Right. Can you like, I have a drone and I got to tell you, I cannot pull that off. Like I totally cannot pull that off where the drone goes. Uh, anyway, um, it's, I'm telling you flying drones is not that easy. Anyway, I'm going to put it on the loop so you can enjoy it a few times, but so uh, the, the, the track mode is where basically um, the, some of the restrictions, especially I think it's called like traction control or slip control or whatever, kind of uh, get really relaxed so you can really drift your car, right? Um, and this is, you know, important. Well, some people just like to just do donuts or just kind of uh, do just drifting as fun. Some people use it for racing, obviously taking corners on the racetrack is very important because otherwise the car will either spin it out of control or because if the traction control is on, then it will just not go as fast. Um, so they relax that and the way they're distributing and, and, and using the, the torque uh, is is uh, kind of in a smart way that helps the driver who's who's racing to um, to be able to take this corner to be able to just have fun to be honest with you the videos um, that I've seen a couple of them of people using this they're just having fun and this is really cool um, now there are a couple of other things that I don't think people are really aware of um, that that this track mode has which is actually a powertrain cooling system and a battery cooling system that's actually being uh, engaged way, way more than normally it is, right? So for example, if you switch on a track mode, it will aggressively cool your battery in the powertrain. So you're kind of ready to, you know, cause, cause when you're racing, you, you know, the battery uh, uh, temperature goes up that usually degrades the performance. And that's one of the biggest problems really with the, with, um, you know, uh, sports, sports, yeah, sports usage of, of, of electric cars, right? But this is where it's, uh, you know, aggressively cools it in between the races, in between the um, actual energy usages, it will cool it down, uh, the battery and the powertrain. So I, I think that's pretty cool. And I, I think people don't really realize that it's very, very necessary. So good for them that they didn't just relax the, the, the hardware and software part of this. They were also kind of took care of other things that come with racing. Another thing, they will also increase the regen braking, right? Because you obviously don't want a very aggressive regen braking when you're driving on the street and driving kids to school, but you definitely want it much more aggressive. So you kind of have more control over it. And, you know, you do want to get the energy back because a lot of times, you know, you're on the racetrack, you're going to use a lot of energy. So um, better control, a better shifting of torque, and of course, the better cooling and more aggressive cooling 
um, of the powertrain. So that is pretty cool. And overall, just think about it, guys. You know, this car, uh, and, and I think this is what's why, why I think a lot of people will be buying this and many other electric cars that are, you know, going to be of the same quality at some time in the future um, is because, you know, electric cars are just better. I mean, don't you think, think about it. You can drive your kids to school in this car, but you can also go on a racetrack and do this crazy stuff. You want to see more of that video? Sure. Uh, you know, like how... How I mean, like, what other car can you do that in, right? And 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 with and by the way, of course, we're talking about. I should probably mention in the beginning. We're talking about uh, performance, dual motor, basically top of the line uh, Tesla Model Three. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section what do you think. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are actually going to be using that and uh, how often do you even go on the racetrack. I, it was my first time the other day. I went with uh, Eli of my Tesla Adventure and Ryan McCraffrey was there was from the Ride the Lightning podcast. Everybody had a good time. I did not race at all, but it was a lot of fun. So if you haven't been to one, check it out uh, and see how Tesla outrace. Tesla's usually outrace most of the ICE cars, so that's kind of fun. All right, let me give a quick shout out to my new Patreon, Nicholas. Uh, thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. Patreon.com slash E for Electric is where you can support my show. Of course, you get to watch me live, which is the fastest you can get to my videos, really. And um, of course, there's an extra mile segment that I do just specifically for my Patreons, better access and other cool behind the scene material. Another stuff that I actually do post uh, behind the scene material and including my personal stuff is on Instagram. You can find me um, at E4 Electric. You can kind of find me at E4 Electric everywhere on social media, even TikTok, by the way. So, um, and one, one time a week, I do go live on YouTube now. This is just for a subscriber hangout. If you just want to hang out, talk about stuff, or my personal stuff, or Tesla, or electric cars, that's what we do on Sunday. The next one has already been scheduled. If you go to the homepage of my channel, you'll see it. You can set yourself a reminder so you can uh, come in and hang out with us. It's usually good times. Uh, good times on Sunday. So um, really appreciate it. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.